Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to Fallout New Vegas level 1 Naked Run of Dead Money. So before we start I do have to explain something. Um, I'd already recorded episode 4 but it didn't go as well as I'd hoped um, because the recording never saved and I um, didn't have a save point I could go back to so I had to start it again but this time I made a few slight changes. So. If I take off the hat and sunglasses, as you can see, strength of 5, perception of 7, endurance of 5, charisma, hang on, oh no, because of the thing, uh, charisma of 1, intelligence of 10, 5 of luck, and 6, uh, uh, 5 of agility, and 6 of luck. So it's all relatively normal, except I put a few more points into perception, because when I wear the hat and the glasses, and because the glasses give me a perception of plus 2, I get perception of plus 10. Or eleven, I think it's eleven, or it might be it, it's ten, or something, which actually increases my skills by quite a bit. Which means I have energy weapons of fifty-one, I have lockpick of fifty-six, and I have quite a few. So basically, it, it worked out a little bit more better. Other than that, I've taken the same perks. Um, I've got skilled and all that. Got four eyes. Now, the Sierra Madre Martini, I got that by talking to Dean. I didn't mean to do that. I did that when I was trying to get back to this point. But basically, it just means I can now create a, a drink that has, like, you know, plus four to endurance and two to strength. But it's highly addictive. So, today we're going to be getting the third and final companion again. Well, for you, it'll be the first time. For me, it'll be the second time of doing this. Uh, so, let us make our way to the medical district. The villa's comm speakers have aged poorly, like the modern pre-war junk. The speakers emit a signal that'll set off your caller if you stay too long. There are damaged speakers and shielded ones. The damaged ones you can destroy at range. Don't get close. You can't switch them off like a radio. Okay, and these are the speakers he is talking about. The blue ones, you can destroy. The red ones, you cannot. And if you stand here and wait five seconds with that still active, you will die. So, we need to get over there, but that's been blocked off. You can't go this way, so there's only one way we can go. This way. Oh, hello. Gun skill is a lot better than last time as well. Um, and sneak's a bit higher as well, so that's also good. And with the armor I'm about to get from going to the medical district, my sneak will be pretty high. No, I don't want any of you. Yep. I know exactly where it is. It's there. Oh, I missed loads of times. I could have died then. Ooh, that could have been bad. That could have been very bad. Quickly, quickly. Oh, I'm stuck, I'm stuck, I'm stuck, I'm stuck, I'm stuck. Run, 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 run. Take and run. Always take Sierra Madre chips. Right. Ooh, and an ammo box. That would be nice. Oh, I thought we had some Mac rounds. Maybe not. Maybe I'm thinking of something else. Okay. Now we go here. Hello? Are you down there? Oh, you might be. Okay, it's fine. 
Well, that was pretty stupid of you, wasn't it? That's your leg blown off. Uh, that's a stool, I don't want it. Can't take it anyway. Right, so there's two ways we can get it. Oh no, no, there isn't. I my mistake. There's, there's only, well no, there is a second one, but you gotta go up and around. But we'll go for the front door. Picking up an emitter signature. Watch for security holograms. Mm. Dangerous. Don't shoot them. Attacking them is useless. Mm. I'll take all that, thank you. Yeah, we now have to deal with the third and final problem. Well, I say problem. Well, the things that are going to try to kill us in this DLC. Because when you go get Dog, you are shown the ghost people. When you go get Dean, you are shown the Red Cloud. And with the mute, uh, what you can't remember her name, it's off the top of my head, we get introduced to the security. So, I want to be in here to grab all of your stuff, because you are probably all the people that came before me. You'll have some good stuff on you, and also... Ah, Assassin's Armor, and I remember the person's name, it's Christine. So, Assassin's Armor is very good. Um, it does sneak of plus 10, which means our sneak is now at 35. You know what, 35 is fine by me. Because with a stealth boy, that works in my favour. Right, that's a red one, we can't destroy it. Um, and we can't go down to the basement because I need a key and there's only one place you get said key. It's upstairs. Now, there are two ways you can deal with this. You can shoot it, or if you have a science high enough, I think of 60, I can deactivate it. Yeah, you can deactivate it. There you go. Right. Let's have a look inside, shall we? No, no. No break in the bobby pin. Oh, you dick. Fine. There we go. Mm, key do key. Ooh. Dr. Bag I will take. Uh, I'll take all this. Activate terminal. Easy. Right, let's see what's on board. No. 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 Well, I'm not, I'm not gonna, I want to get into this. Yes, did it. Oh, that was close. I could have gone bad. Okay. Appointment calendar. Miss Key showed up today. Sinclair's, Sinclair's girl. Escorted by Mr. Domino, he explained to me that Miss Keys has developed a throat infection and asked if the Autodoc could help. I asked about the Sierra Madre's Autodoc. He said he didn't want to alarm Sinclair. Ran some tests on Miss Keys. Voice is fine. Her loss of voice was more illustrationless. Symptoms of, ec of excessive use of Medex. When I tried to speak to her about it, Mr. Domino intervened. I warned them too much of the chems could render the subject comatose. Subject comatose. And Domino laughed. I've lost my temper. And he said they'd return another time when I was in a better spirit. Despite that man. Unpleasant visit. Domino stopped by and asked about the test results and, and Vera's voice. He seemed concerned she would lose her voice for the gala event. I told him if Miss Keys was concerned she should see me and I would only discuss any medical information to her. I told him that the autodocs were more than capable of healing Miss Keys' voice. If she developed any further infections and we could ev we could either operate if needs be if she tore her l lorex. He seemed satisfied by the news, apologised, amazingly enough, and left a bottle of wine as a token of his appreciation. I told him I felt it was inappropriate, and he insisted. I dumped it in the trash. Oh, uh, alright. So, it seems, because Dean Domino was here before the bombs fell, it seems him and Miss Keys might have been trying to get in 
to the Sierra Madre for some apparent reason. Ooh. Well. Oh, Mentats. Oh, I forgot something on this terminal. Yep. Oh no, that's just an appointment calendar. That's not the terminal I'm thinking of. Medi bag. Take everything. Will be mine. Ah, here we go. Dispense code for Medex. Now, I'm pretty sure Medex gives me damage resistance, so. I mean, in this game, my character doesn't talk. Well, he does talk, but not in the way you think. Right. Okie dokie. So, we need the key. And the key is, I believe, in. not in here. Or is it? No, it's not. So, it's in the other room. Frick is the key. Where's the key gone, please? Unless I'm being a complete enough idiot and I've actually passed the key. Where's the stinking key? Oh, for fuck's sake, I was in this room. Okay, now we have the key, we can go into the basement is not down the way I said. It is down this way. Don't need to be sneaking anymore. Here we go. Yep. Alright, uh, there's no uh, device in here so we can actually just run straight to the end of the room and just turn it off. Uh, take off the main power, which is good, we can now access the thing. I'm going to take you, and also I want to... want to make some microfusion cells. No, hang on. Can I? Is that going to make me... Oh, okay, I got some, I got some stuff. Energy cells. Ah, fuck me, I didn't want energy cells. I want, I want, I want that. There we go. Forty-four microfusion cells. That's what I wanted. Uh, which means I now have ooh, quite a bit. I'm pretty sure you can use drained ones, can't you? Yep, you can. You can do that, and you get some more fusion cells. Because that's how the game works. And uh, with the power off, we can literally just stroll and uh, go and get our third companion. Yeah, you fuck you, speaker. Ooh, before we do, I'm going to take this advantage and heal myself up for free. And Bob's your... Oh no, it just did me... Ah, oh, fuck, it just did me limbs, didn't it? Frick. Leave the old duck alone. Fine. Doesn't matter. And let's open you up. Ooh. Okay, so I basically skipped the dialogue for Christina. Basically, she can't talk. Uh, she thinks that you're the one that put her in this place. You're not. She agrees to follow you, so you know you gain the perk to basically not die from that. Am I going to level up from that? I am going to level up to a level four. Thank you, Christina. Right, lock pick can go up by five, and then I want speech to go. No, 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 no. I, I, I mean, I meant science. Oh, and now we can have educated, which means I get more points as I as as I'm going about. Now if we just stand here and let her see that there we go. Yeah, uh it's a this is decayed speaker. If we stay too long near one it will go off and we'll die.
we can do science of 60 or intelligence of 5 uh, you can interfere with the speaker's detonation frequency she's about to nod and stops points at herself and shakes her head oh alright well, we got some XP for it uh, will it work with any other collar no so it's just between me and her when she's my companion. Okay, it's fair enough. Uh, just between us then. Great, how romantic. No, okay. Cool. Excellent. Well, that's good. That's fine for me. So literally, you just explained to me and gave me some XP for what I already know. It's fine by me. Right. Let us go... Oh, what's that? Oh, that's to deal with the security upstairs. I don't need to. And let, actually, I think we can go out the back way. If I'm not mistaken. Oh, actually, I'll tell you what we're going to do. Because I don't want you to die. I'm going to give you... Sierra Madre Armour. You're welcome. Do you not even have a freaking weapon? <coughs> oh, for God's sake, Christina. Right. I'll give you a cosmic knife. You can use a cosmic knife. I'm pretty sure you can use a cosmic knife. Oh, shit. Thank you. Yep, so that's basically what that does, so uh, you don't die instantly. It would have been really good if I could have had that earlier on, but no oh well. Ooh, another lot of. Ooh, excellent. Yes, you give me all that. You give me all that XP. I want it. I need to be science of 100 very fucking quickly, so. Yes, that would be good. Cause she, uh, do I, does, it, does it have to be of a hundred or can it be of a hard? I can't remember. It might be very hard or hard. Ooh, it's another Dean stash. Let's grab it. Let's grab it. I'm gonna grab it. Yep, it's mine. Let's just hope this time the freaking recording decides it wants to save. Because, you know. I mean, if anything happens, I can just reload back to where I started before I got her, so it's not too much of a pain in my ass to deal with. But I don't want to have to keep doing it. Ah, oh, I just freaking... I was already here. God damn it. Oh, hello. There's a lot of interesting stuff to do with her and Father Elijah. If you don't know, Christine has been in Old World Blues. She's also very very good friends with another Brotherhood of Steel follower that we can get in the main game. Veronica. All three of them are connected because they were the Brotherhood. Um, but yeah, you'll you learn more about the history between Father Elijah and Christina and Veronica later on. One of the endings to this game is if you actually bring up Veronica's name, but unfortunately I don't know if I can because I haven't met Veronica yet. But... Well, that's not even the ending I'm going for. I'm going to show you both endings. Oh, hello! Oh! Oh, Science of 70, I love you. Oh, is he dead? He is dead. Science! The nerds are now the superior race. Yeah, um, I don't want you to... Look, it's fine, it's fine. She doesn't like enclosed spaces, that's fine. That's why she gets a bit scared, but it's okay. I'm not going to be a dick. I'm going to be nice to all my companions, because I want them all to live. And you're dead. Because this is a fucking awesome weapon. When you have the correct science. And energy weapon. Oh, energy weapon, sorry, fuck. No, it's not science, is it? Science does nothing. <coughs> Wait, there's something. And a boom. And a boom. 
Oh, I, f I missed. I missed. I missed. I missed. I missed. There we go. I didn't miss that time. You're welcome. Right. She can give me some very interesting things if she looks at this. Look look at the machine. Oh, no. I think she just deceived it, didn't she? All right. Let's talk. Let's talk to her and see what happens. She's raising an eyebrow. Oh. Sexy. Medical. No, I haven't got enough fucking. Oh, hang on. Intelligence of seven. Can't you communicate some other way? Can you write? Christina frowns and pauses and traces one of her scars over her head with her finger. Then makes a motion as if she picks up a pencil, tries to write, and shakes her head. Oh, something to do with the surgery. Yeah, because she was in that auto dock, wasn't she? I, I can't talk to you about science. I ain't got any science. I just want to ask you a question. That's all I want to ask. Do you know what the machines around the villa are? Christina shakes her head, then pauses and makes a small circle with her thumb and forefinger. She points at you and makes a motion of putting something in her palm. She wants one of the chips. Uh, here's, a serum, here's a Sierra Madre chip. I'll need it back. She examines the chip for a few seconds, raises it in her eye, and turns it to the side, clearing the near and near. She runs a finger over the surface, blah blah blah, then gives it back to you. And I get for that. She then pretends to look around, sees something on the floor, then pretends to bend down and pick it up. Perception is six. You can sc scrounge more somehow? She smiles, nods, I'm fucking big brain man here. Um she stands still for a second, then stops and slowly makes a motion of bending down. And okay, yeah, basically I can now make the chips. It's very fucking easy. And she's still going. Intelligence is six. You can make more of these at the workbench with the right materials. She smiles and nods. See, we are friends and we are smart. Points at your pit boy, makes a motion to open it up and remove something from it. She then raises her hand and makes a motion to of smashing it and holding on. You need a battery, a fusion battery, and scrap metal, and you can counterfeit the chips. She nods, impressed, and then she points at you, then her, then makes a circle. Can you teach me how to do it? She nods, she takes, makes a series of, yeah, so basically I now just have the ability to make chips. That's all I wanted to know. Thank you. Right, let's talk to, um, knob job here. Okay, so again, I've just skipped it because it would have been too long. Basically, we're finished now of the first thing of gathering them all. Now we have to send each single one of them to a certain point in the villa to activate the gala which will then open the gates because one person can't do it you need apparently four so the ghoul uh, did not yeah the ghoul goes to the power station to power up the lights the fireworks um, the super mutant has to activate the switches Christina has to I think she, she does something with computers and then I have to go up into a freaking bell tower and then deal with some shit but we're not gonna do that this week uh, because, no. Because I've learnt from my mistake of not doing an 8 hour recording session and then it not deciding to save. Yes, I got further, but I'm not going to do it. So, I hope you've enjoyed this episode and I will see you all next time. Um, sometime soon there'll be an update video and there'll be another lore video. I've got a few ideas coming up, but I hope you've enjoyed this episode so far, and I will see you all next time. Goodbye. Mm -hmm.